certainly a tough break for the Atlanta Braves as Jason Hayward is going to be out four to six weeks breaking his jaw in two places alongside former 20 game winner Mark Mulder, Hall of Famer Barry Larkin and our Baseball Tonight insider and former scout Keith Law, Madden and Virk. Mark, what's the impact going to be of Hayward's absence on this team? I think it's huge. This team, this team's been so consistent throughout the season. He, he moved to the leadoff spot. He's been on fire for this team. It's someone who's setting a table. And he's not just a, a, a typical leadoff hitter. He's a guy who hits for power, has plays great defense, has a great arm. He's going to be missed. I think he is going to be hugely missed because this is a team that strikes out a lot. And Jason Hayward over the last few weeks has been the one consistent guy that has been getting on base for them. So I don't know where you go to get that. I'm sure they're going to go out and look at the free agent market. But maybe, maybe it's something that they get out of in-house. I, I don't know. But this, in my opinion, this is going to hurt them simply because, listen, you want to go into the playoffs, and they're going to go to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the playoffs playing high-leveraged games and, play, and, and playing your best baseball at the time at the end of the season. Uh, you know, 15-game lead right now, not a lot of high-leverage games, and you're missing the guy who's been consistent in the lineup. I think it's going to hurt. My guess is they call up Todd Cunningham at least to fill the roster spot so they have a body to play the outfield. He's more of an extra outfielder, can play all three positions, very little power, doesn't replace the defense that you lose with Hayward's absence either. I have to imagine they'll spend the next 10 days looking at players who've either cleared waivers or players who still go on waivers to see if they can find a better replacement from outside the organization. You ever been hit in the face? I've been hit in the head. I've never been hit in the face. and It's, it's not a fun thing. I tell you, any time you get a ball around the head... You know, this is the thing. When you, look at a, when you look at something like that that happens, what you try to do as a hitter is you try to stay on the ball as long as possible. You're waiting for the ball to break down over the plate. Unfortunately for, for him, it didn't break down over the plate. But you see this, and it's such an unfortunate event. Over his last 21 games, entering play on Wednesday, he'd been hitting 366, five home runs, 15 RBI. Unsurprising, the Braves had 117 of those games. We'll see what they can do without Hayward for the immediate future.